Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about what's in style, what is trendy. Well, there's a, uh, a restaurant on the east side of Green Bay that's uh, all about trying to keep up with the trends and, and be fresh. Uh, it's called Syrah, and here uh, to talk about it is uh, wait, brand new menu you guys have. Yeah, we do. Uh, you know, we've been doing a lot of different things and we've been rolling out, been open for just over a year. This is actually, I think, our fourth or fifth menu. Um, and really wanted to keep it, again, keeping it trendy, keeping it up to date. Um, keeping things fresh and, and, and local as much as possible. And that's what chefs around the country, we heard earlier about this whole farm to table thing where, uh, and you actually grow, you have herbs and tomatoes we grow our, and Yeah, we do our own herbs, um, tomatoes, squash, carrots, lettuces, um, arugula, we're growing stuff all the time. So you let the season kind of dictate what you put on the menu. Yeah, to some degree, exactly. Um, and our new menu is really kind of doing it, even taking it another step further. Um, we've limited on our printed menu is only our four signature entrees and then every day we print a new menu with uh, four or five items that are going to be rotating through depending on what is freshest seasonal helps us with seafood and vegetables and whatnot. So. Very cool. Well today we're making a, a dessert that's very on trend, bread pudding. It seems to make a, a, a huge comeback um, because it's just comforting. It's just, you know, it's like a hug. Um, it is, exactly. But uh, you can always make it, um, make it up to the season with depending on what's fresh, uh, again, with fruits and, and whatnot. So. so we're doing a bread pudding with grapes. It's got a little bit of wine into it, uh, in it. And, uh, but most of the other ingredients you probably have in your house. It's a great way if you get some fresh French bread and you know you get it the first day and then the next day or two it's just not quite as fresh what do you do with it make bread pudding with it right make bread pudding yeah, yeah. And if you want to make bread pudding when it's still too fresh cut it up throw it in the oven for a few minutes at like 350 let it dry out a little bit and then you can use it as stale bread good good tip I didn't think about that but you want it to be a little firmer is what we're looking exactly, for. exactly yes. okay so I'll let you go to work All on right. the bread I'm gonna go to work on the custard so uh, it looks like we've got what I want to use eggs? About four eggs four eggs okay four eggs it's got a few extras in there for okay it's okay <laughs> Um, so we start out, uh, use about a half of a, a big loaf of bread. Okay. I usually like to cut it about one inch cubes. Okay. Uh, when I'm working on that. And you'll notice uh, we're using brown sugar as opposed to regular sugar. I think it gives it uh, a little more moisture. Okay. And uh, I like the flavor a little better yeah. than compared to uh, the granulated white sugar. So four eggs. Is this heavy cream that we it have is, over you here? You know, I use heavy cream again. It's um, you can use any milk. Um, for me, heavy cream is tends to give it a little better texture and makes yeah. it a little firmer. It's going to be very custardy and exactly. wonderful. So um, this is one of those desserts you're bringing out at the end of the night. You're having guests over, and it's going to be a real wow factor right out of the oven. So uh, you know, definitely this is one of those best served warm, don't you think? It is best served warm. Um, you know, if you have some leftover, it also makes a nice little uh, cold breakfast. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So four eggs. It looks like there was about two cups of heavy cream. Two cups of cream. Now, does the sugar go right in here? Sugar goes right in there as well. Okay, so this is um, brown sugar. Brown sugar, about three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So this is an easy recipe. It's a very easy recipe. It's something that uh, anybody can throw together. Uh, like I said, though, you can always make it make it trendy by making it a little different. So. And then, um, is this some vanilla? I got some vanilla. Okay. Um, I got it measured out right there. Okay. Uh, the good stuff. Some mm. teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Ooh, and I can tell this is really good cinnamon too. And then, I like to just take, and I used to use, I usually use fresh cinnamon as well, but it takes too long to, with, on, on time constraints with the show to be sure. able to do that, but. Sure. Um, I grind the cinnamon, and then we have some nutmeg as well. So, we so you take grind. a cinnamon stick, you're saying? I usually use a granite cinnamon stick, Really? Yeah. Wow. And this is just a fresh nutmeg. Some that fresh nutmeg and, you know, some ground it a little bit in there just to give it uh, a little bit of extra flavor as well. Mmm, smells good. And so, so this is our custard, basically. This is our custard. Eggs, right. heavy cream, brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So Correct. all stuff that we probably have right in our house right now. So you're cutting up some so grapes. I'm cutting up some grapes for this one. Um, I was going to use some um, wine grapes that I got from uh, PJ over at Captain's Walk Winery. Uh, I started working with them and I knew they had seeds in them, but they had a lot more seeds than I thought they were going to have. So um, you can also... They look know, cool They though. look really great. Yeah, you can see them right here. They're uh, very small little things. They're about the size of a, uh, of a blueberry. Um, really great flavor. But any kind of grape can be used. I picked some uh, black seedless up as well. Uh, and so what I was doing is just kind of cutting up Cutting them in half, um, use about a half a cup or so of the grapes. 
going to put some a layer in first, and then we'll put another layer of bread, and then we'll pour the custard. You know, I didn't think of ever putting grapes in a dessert. Um, you know, normally you just kind of eat them out of hand, but is that something different, unique? And yeah, we like to um, again we we we'll use any kind of whatever's freshest and seasonal. And mm -hmm. again, grapes are um, right now. Are this harvest time for the grapes, sure, so they are sure. coming into their, their full season at this sure. point. So. so when you cook them, do they just kind of soften up like an apple would? Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. So I'm just going to finish this up here and pour that custard in there. You bet. Now I see Make a little wine. How does that go in? Uh, what I was doing with the wine is actually I made a, um, to, to finish this with, we made some um, creme caramel. And we use the wine in, in the sauce. Oh, so, so how do you? What, what's all in the sauce? Uh, really simple. It's a cup of wine, okay. a cup of sugar. Uh, you're gonna cook that down um, probably for about 20 minutes or so until it becomes a nice um, syrup, kind syrupy of thing. kind of texture. Okay. And then take about a quarter cup of cream and stir that in um, at a low temperature. Just kind of mix it together until it becomes a nice uh, creamy consistency. Okay. One of the keys I've uh, learned is that when you are uh, doing the sugar, don't mess with it. Just let it yeah, reduce. Okay. And so instead of making a syrup like you might make a caramel using water, uh, we used the wine instead. Very cool. All right, this looks great. But we're going to carefully put that custard over the top. Now, does this uh, need to, you know, hang out in the fridge before you bake it, or is it going to be baked just as is? It sh should be able to be fine just baked as is. Um, you can let it sit. Um, you know, some people, there's a number of different, you know, thoughts behind that, but um, I've always just made it right up. And okay. Oven kind of temperature? Uh, 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Um, you, the one, what you want to be able to do is you want that custard to be able to cook in there. The way I checked it uh, when I was baking them before is, like when you got a deep dish just like this, I take a, a thin knife and stick it in there. If it comes out fairly clean, then you know you have uh, succeeded in cooking it all the way through. But it takes its good old time is the key. It takes its yeah, good old time, yeah. yeah you yeah. can't rush it by any means. And we used grapes today, but I'm thinking of other things you could use, uh, you know, uh, dried cherries, dried, dried cranberries. Dried cherries, cranberries, fresh cherries, fresh cranberries, sure. uh, blueberries, apples. Apples, oh. Um, you know, you know, and that's what makes it so seasonal. You could use... Um, you know, in the, in the earlier part of the springtime, you can use raspberries. You can, yeah. um, so anything that is a fresh fruit can go right in there. All right. Well, we've got one in the oven, and it just smells so good. Mm. Kind of puffs up. And then we're serving it with that sauce. Little dish over there. Is this going to be on the menu as far as uh, desserts go? You know, we're always rotating fresh, uh, fresh desserts. Um, I will have some made for this weekend. Because Good. We yeah. have it on the show today. Yeah, I think uh, people are going to But we always, we always have uh, homemade, homemade desserts. So everything that we do, we try to do as fresh as possible. Love that. All right. Will you serve me some? Absolutely. All right. Sounds great. So Syrah, menu changing all the time. Very much on trend. Very, very fresh. And if you go there this weekend. Uh, you can get some of this great bread pudding. Thanks so much for coming You're on welcome. the show. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stay with us.